Welcome to the KTA Coding Failure Analysis video training series. This is part three of a six-part series that describes the field and laboratory techniques used to determine why it was intercoat delamination of a coating system applied to a concrete floor. Each part is standalone, but when viewed in order, they present the key findings from an actual project. When examining coating problems on a concrete floor, one of the tests that is often performed is coating thickness. The purpose is to determine if there's a correlation between thickness and performance. The total thickness of a coating system on a concrete floor can be measured non-destructively using an ultrasonic thickness gauge. But when doing forensic work, it's often important to know the thickness of the individual layers. The ultrasound gauge is not capable of doing that. In addition, if there are air voids entrained in the coating or lamellar pigments such as glass flake in the film, an ultrasound gauge may produce false thickness readings. For these reasons, an investigator will commonly determine the thickness of the coating destructively using a device known as a took gauge and or remove samples for laboratory microscopic measurement of the thickness. The took gauge conforms to ASTM D4138. The gauge consists of a gauge body and a battery compartment, a 50 power illuminated ocular with a scale etched into the lens, a focus adjustment for the ocular, and three tungsten carbide precision cutting tips. The took gauge is destructive. It requires making an incision or groove about the width of a pencil line through the coating film down to the substrate. The took gauge can be used to measure coating thicknesses up to 50 mils. The took gauge measures coating thickness using basic trigonometry. That is, by cutting a precision V groove into the coating system using one of the tungsten carbide cutting tips, a right triangle is created. The angles of the right triangle are known. So by measuring the length of one leg of the triangle, you can calculate the length of the other, which in this case represents the thickness of the coating layer. If the coating layers are different or alternating in color, then each layer can be seen and the thickness measured. You simply count the divisions on the reticule across each coating layer, then convert the divisions to mils or microns using the conversion chart supplied with the instrument. Here the took gauge is being used to measure the thickness of the floor coating in both failing and non-failing areas to determine if there is a correlation between thickness and performance. The thicknesses in this case were in general accordance with the coating manufacturer's requirements. And more importantly, there was no difference in thickness between failing and non-failing areas. The failing areas were measured right adjacent to a failure. So no trends regarding thickness and performance were found. Samples were also removed for laboratory measurement of coating thickness. Sample removal techniques are discussed in part five. So that's it for part three. Log on to ktauniversity.com to see other KTA videos in this series for the collection of background information, other types of hands-on tests used to examine the problem, the methods used to collect samples, and the laboratory analysis. On the same site, you'll find a listing of other instructional videos that are available for your viewing.